Hey science enthusiasts! Have you ever come across terms like quantum physics, quantum mechanics or quantum computing? These phrases often permeate discussions on the cutting edge of science and technology, giving a glimpse into a world that defies our everyday intuition. Yet, today we're going to zoom in on a single word from this remarkable lexicon. Quantum. What exactly is the essence of this word? The term quantum has its roots in the Latin language, specifically from the neuter singular form of the interrogative adjective quantus, which translates to how much. The plural form quanta was employed to refer to quanta of electricity, referring to electrons in an ITO2 article of the photoelectric effect by Philip Leonard. Leonard credited Hermann von Helmholtz for initially using the term in the context of electricity. However, the term quantum wasn't used before 1900. Physicians also use the term quantum as seen in expressions like quantum satis, which means the amount that is sufficient. Both Helmholtz and Julius von Meer were physicians and physicists. Helmholtz applied the term quantum to the domain of heat in his writings related to Meyer's work, and the term can be found in Meyer's formulation of the first law of thermodynamics in a letter dated July 24 of 1841. In the world of science, this word carries profound significance, representing a concept that has revolutionized our understanding of the universe itself. A quantum, plural quanta, signifies the smallest conceivable unit of any physical entity or property that participates in an interaction. In the field of physics, quantum refers to a discrete and fundamental unit or packet of energy, charge, angular momentum or other physical property. The fundamental concept that a physical property can be divided into discrete units is termed the quantization hypothesis. This implies that the value of the physical property can only exist as specific whole number multiples of a single quantum. For instance, a photon represents a singular quantum of light with a specific frequency or any other type of electromagnetic radiation. Light, despite appearing as a continuous electromagnetic wave on a macroscopic scale, behaves on a sub-microscopic level by being emitted and absorbed in discrete quantities known as quanta. Specifically, for light of a given wavelength, all emitted and absorbed quanta exhibit uniformity in both energy and momentum. These discrete particle-like units of light are denoted as photons, a term applicable to quanta of various forms of electromagnetic energy, including X-rays and gamma rays. The energy of a photon can be calculated using the equation E equals H times F, where E represents the energy of the photon H is the Planck constant, which is approximately 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules seconds. F stands for the frequency of the photon. Moreover, in the submicroscopic mechanical vibrations within the atomic layers of crystals, energy and momentum exchanges occur in quanta known as phonons. Similarly, the energy of an electron confined within an atom is quantized and can only occupy distinct, predefined levels. The total energy, including both the kinetic and potential energy of the electron in its specific energy state or orbital within the atom, is quantized. Atoms and matter in general remain stable because electrons are restricted to discrete energy levels within an atom. Both the electrons and the protons' electric charges are also considered quantized. The charges are discrete and come in integer multiples of the elementary charge E. 
The electric charge of an electron is approximately minus 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. This value represents the fundamental unit of negative charge and is often symbolized as E. For a proton, the electric charge is approximately plus 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, equivalent in magnitude to the charge of an electron, but positive. The charges of these particles are not continuous but exist in specific quantized values and any change in charge occurs in multiples of E. This quantization of electric charge is a fundamental concept in physics and is a cornerstone of our understanding of the atomic and subatomic world. The concept of quantization, specifically in the context of radiation, was unveiled in 1900 by Max Planck. Max Planck, the German physicist and Nobel Prize recipient for physics in 1918, played a pivotal role in advancing our understanding of the quantization of energy and the birth of quantum mechanics. In an endeavor to reconcile theory with experimental observations, Max Planck proposed the concept that electromagnetic energy is either absorbed or released in distinct, well-defined units known as quanta. He was investigating the emission of radiation from heated objects, a phenomenon known as black-body radiation. In his pursuit to comprehend this radiation, Planck made a groundbreaking assumption. He proposed that energy could be absorbed or emitted only in discrete, distinct units, which he termed bundles or energy elements. This idea allowed Planck to explain why certain objects change color when heated. On December 14 of 1900, he presented his findings to the German Physical Society, introducing the concept of quantization for the first time as part of his research on black body radiation. As a result of his experiments, Planck calculated the numerical value of H, which is known as the Planck constant. He also provided more precise values for the unit of electrical charge and the avogadro loschmidt number, which denotes the number of real molecules in a mole. In 1901, Max Planck expanded the use of quanta to include quanta of matter and electricity, gases and heat. Planck's theory was eventually validated, leading to his receipt of the Nobel Prize in Physics for this groundbreaking discovery in 1918. Planck's revolutionary notion was pivotal in launching the field of quantum mechanics, which later saw significant contributions from scientists like Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg, Erwin Schrödinger and many others. These scientists expanded and developed the framework of quantum mechanics. In 1905, responding to Planck's work and the experimental findings of Leonard, who used the term quantum of electricity to explain his results, Albert Einstein introduced the concept that radiation exists in specially localized packets, which he referred to as quantum of light or Lichtquanta. Quantization forms a cornerstone of the broader field of quantum mechanics. The quantization of energy and its impact on how energy and matter interact, as in quantum electrodynamics, forms an essential framework for comprehending and explaining the workings of nature. In the realm of quantum mechanics, all phenomena within sub-microscopic systems showcase quantization, where observable quantities are confined to specific discrete values. When these values are multiples of a constant minimum, that particular amount is designated as a quantum of the observable. For instance, Planck's constant H serves as the quantum of action, while H bar represents the quantum of angular momentum or spin. 
Although condensation initially emerged in the context of electromagnetic radiation, it signifies a fundamental attribute of energy that extends beyond photons exclusively. Quantization signifies the systematic transition process from a classical comprehension of physical phenomena to the more contemporary understanding encapsulated within the principles of quantum mechanics. It serves as a method for developing quantum mechanics starting from classical mechanics. One key aspect within this process is field quantization a generalization that involves an infinite number of degrees of freedom. Field quantization, evident in concepts like the quantization of the electromagnetic field, refers to photons as discrete entities within the field often termed as field quanta, such as light quanta. This process of quantization plays a fundamental role in theories across various fields such as atomic physics, chemistry, particle physics, nuclear physics, condensed matter physics and quantum optics. As we conclude our journey into the enigmatic realm of quantum, it becomes evident that the concept of quantization is the very foundation upon which our understanding of the universe is built. From the groundbreaking work of Max Planck to the revolutionary insights of Einstein, Bohr, Heisenberg and Schrödinger, the evolution of quantum mechanics has shaped our comprehension of the smallest constituents of matter and energy. Quantization, in its diverse forms, extends its influence across a myriad of scientific disciplines from the microscopic world of atoms and particles to the study of light and beyond. It stands as the bridge between the classical and the quantum, illuminating the world of fundamental building blocks. The journey into quantum has not only transformed our conception of the physical world, but also continues to inspire endless exploration and innovation, paving the way for the technological marvels of tomorrow. And as we ponder the mysteries and revelations of the quantum realm, we embark on a perpetual guest to decipher the universe's deepest secrets. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more. You can also share it on social media. Is there a subject you are super interested in and would like to watch on this channel? Write it in the comments below, please. Click the like button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay up to date with my latest videos. I'm sure you'll find many interesting videos on this channel. Thank you for watching.